There is a concept in the world of philosophy called duality. For example, in the Indian philosophical tradition, there is this notion of Purush and Prakriti. In the Chinese tradition, we have the notion of Yin and Yang. We will explore a similar concept in the world of mathematics. And to do that, we'll start with the cube and we will mark the midpoints of the faces of the cube. Notice that there are six faces of the cube and we will mark the six midpoints. We will start joining pairs of these midpoints. To do that, we need to understand the adjacency relation. Consider the top face, F-E-G-H. This face is adjacent to the side face FEAB. It is adjacent to the side face FEAB. Why? Because they share this segment, this edge. Both of them share this common edge FE. That's why we say that they are adjacent. Whenever two faces are adjacent, we will connect their midpoints. Just like we did for I and M. I is the midpoint of the top face and M is the midpoint of the side face. Since those two faces are adjacent, we join their midpoints by a line segment. And we can do this for other pairs of points in exactly the same way. Let's do a couple more. Let's for example, join I and K. Can you tell me why this segment should be joined? Which two faces are adjacent and what is the edge along which they are adjacent? The reason why we joined I and K. Similarly, we can join I and L. Your job is to join all pair of such points to get another shape inside the cube. Can you draw this shape in your paper? Can you draw it in a software like GeoGebra? Can you repeat the process inside that shape? That is, take different faces of this internal shape, whatever it is, looks like its faces are triangles. Mark the centers, mark the centroids, in fact, of these triangles. And connect pairs of centroids if the if the corresponding faces are adjacent that is repeat the same process with the internal shape can you tell me what shape you get inside that and finally using this picture can you realize 
this external manifestation, this mathematical manifestation of the notion of duality? Give me your thoughts in the comment. Be creative, be imaginative. Tell me what you think. Can you find other pairs of solids which are dual to each other? Mathematics is beautiful and there are many philosophical concepts which have their reflections in mathematics. We have this new course at Chedda called No Fear for Mathematics where we understand and explore these patterns and problems and appreciate the beauty of mathematics for young children. No more rote learning, no more formula crunching, just the beauty of it. Keep on doing great mathematics, I'll see you in the next one.